Hi guys, this is Ms. Raina from C347 here at MacArthur High School coming to you to talk today about growth rate and doubling time in human population studies. I just want to give you a little bit of a forewarning. Um, the slides are going to go kind of fast because what I'm expecting you to do is pause when and where you need to and um, write down definitions. That's what a lot of this stuff is. So if you've already done your vocabulary, you can skip through a lot of this stuff. If, however, you haven't done your vocabulary yet, get on it because your test is this Thursday and a vocabulary won't be accepted after that. So, hey, take advantage of today's notes and get a bunch of your terms done. Um, a lot of today's stuff is about demographic measures because in order to keep track of growth rates and how long it takes a population to double, um, there's a kind of a lot of other things that need to, that need to be kept in mind. So we look at different statistics about people, something as simple as births, deaths, immigration, emigration, um, but also things about them as people. Where do they live? What do they live like? What's their total population size? Here's an example of a bunch of definitions. Density means how many people there are in a small or a bigger amount of space. Birth rate is the number of people of births per 1,000 people, not 100. Death rate is the number of deaths in a year per 1,000 people. Again, not 100. So how do you affect death rates? You can increase food supply, um, do better nutrition, increase access to medical technology, education, um, public, public health facilities. Um, there might also be improvements in sanitation and culture, just culture of personal hygiene. And a lot of you guys have mentioned in class um, a better, cleaner water supply can definitely reduce death rates. It can stop the spread of infectious disease. All right, here's another example of slide you might want to stop at or pause at so that you can write down definitions. A growth rate has to take into account birth and death as well as immigration and emigration. Doubling time is exactly what it sounds like, the time it takes for a population to double in numbers. Um, and gross national product is the most commonly used way to measure the economic growth of a country. Immigration, I use the first letter to help me remember which is which because they sound so similar. So immigration is the number of people coming into a population. It doesn't just have to be a country. It can be any, any segment of the population. Emigration, again, I use that first letter. That's the amount of people exiting the population. So this is coming in, this is exiting. Net migration is like the total of these two. It's just immigration minus emigration, you get the total. Okay, infant mortality rate is the number of child or infant deaths. So this is what puts a lot of pressure on a culture or on a mother in particular to have lots and lots and lots of children. If there's a high infant mortality rate, then you feel you have a lot of pressure to have lots of births to ensure that somebody will make it to adulthood and take care of you in your old age. Zero population growth is where the amount of people being added to the population from births and immigration equals the amount of people leaving the population through deaths and emigration. Total fertility rate is the average number of children a woman will have during her childbearing years. So this is not the number of children that will be born to a whole population. This is an estimate of how many children will be born to a mother. You would think that replacement level fertility would just be two children for every two parents. But the sad fact is that different places have different rates of infant mortality. And so in some places, um, in some situations, you might have to have more than two children to replace the two parents because the sad fact is that some of the children don't make it to adulthood and it's a uh, quite a high proportion in some situations age structure are the population pyramids that we've been looking at lately so we can see kind of a histogram a bar graph with a male side and a female side split up by ages on the y-axis to show us how many there are in each segment of the population for every five years. Generation time is the time that it takes for one generation to pass. In other words, about how long do people wait before they have children. 
growth rate everybody make sure you write this down this is a formula that will tell you how quickly a population will grow so you get births minus deaths plus immigration minus emigration divide that by 10 try this example on your own at home rule of 70s is a way to estimate doubling time really quickly so take the number 70 or 72 divide that by your growth rate and you'll get a pretty solid estimate of doubling time and we're done so thanks for sticking through this last little flip video lately um, write down any questions you have be ready for a quiz let's see on Wednesday over growth rate and doubling time thanks again guys see you tomorrow in class